Welcome to Cooking with Chris. Today we are going to make a very good pasta with the worst ingredient you can find abroad. The immigrant pasta, la pasta dell'immigrante. Let's go! For all the Italians abroad that want to cook with the worst ingredient, we have a piece of gouda. You can use cheddar, you can use uh, Monterey Jack, you can use Hemmental, but every kind I of cheese. I have to say, the, uh, the Huda is actually quite good here in the Netherlands. I know, but, okay, local cheese. The very, very cheap tomatoes, some cheap uh, pepper, garlic, mm, basil. We use chili powder today because it's, this is what you find abroad. Pepper, salt, uh, and some very basic pasta, really. Very basic, you can find for... 80 cent and of course things that everybody has then so let's start uh, let's boil some water let's boil some water and when it when it boils we will peel our tomatoes this is the thing um, friends of mine that watch my videos they said hey Chris but your oil come from Tuscany, your sausages come from Tuscany and this is the best thing, you use this, you use that, blah 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 say no, I want to make pasta with the worst ingredient ever so what we are doing, we are making a X here like that put it here and here and here, really like this we wait for the water to boil why do we wait garlic like this okay remove the head and the tail you see and this is our garlic if you don't like garlic you can you can of course uh, keep it okay and then our we will wash them because tomatoes will go in boiling water but these are not so literally we remove the internal parts with uh, time okay And we cut them like this, let's say. In ring? In ring, so whatever you want, really. It's not. This is a pasta that I have invented because sometimes I. There were times that I. Where I. When I lived abroad, even now, and I wanted to make some pasta, but I couldn't find a nice ingredients. So, mm, this is. I think one of the greatest results I could find with very bad ingredients. So you haven't made pasta alfredo then? I don't know. I, I'm a true Italian. I don't cook that thing. I'm joking. So, let's take our pan. Olive oil. Olive oil. Let's start. Uh, low flame. And we can start with the pepper and the garlic. Well, wow. wash your hands. So we are waiting for the water to boil. Let's make uh, here. We need to cut the tomatoes now. It will be really messy. So, just stir, no, just stir because, because it's cool, not because you must, but it's cool. So, okay, water is almost ready. Um, what we are doing, with boiling the boiling water for one minute will, uh, will help us to remove, remove the skin, you will see. So, The boiling water. Ok, 
Covering the tomatoes. Covering the tomatoes. Just one minute. Okay. This is going. The the fire, the the, the heat, the flame must be really, really low, or at least not high, because otherwise the garlic will burn, and this is something that we don't want. Okay. Yeah, I have to say yes. I often burn my garlic. It doesn't so, take much, does it? Let's wait for this to peel. Let's choose the very, very, the, the cheapest <laughs> brand of pasta we can find here in the Netherlands, in Holland. Really. You can, if you want, if you have, you can put some very cheap white wines here. No, but we don't have tonight, so. This is the pasta that you have to do with the, the thing that you have in the house. So, okay, we can be ready. That was really just one minute, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. Not too much. So, again, uh, if you follow my previous video, you know that here, nine minutes, because you recognize the Italian pasta, we have the cooking time here here in the middle in the center here in uh, in holland you need to search it here nine to eleven minutes let's say i don't know eight so he doesn't have a lot of trust in the, the dutch no. methods no because here I they mean, overcook everything so i mean like they they make rice by putting too much water in the pot so. and then they strain the rice and dump out the extra water it's so. weird just pasta, I would put about around 200 grams, 250 grams, like this. Voila. And we go our timer, voila. Five minutes, plus three, eight. This is the five, and this is the three. <laughs> okay, now. Uh, now we take our tomatoes, and now it's easy to peel. Can you see? We come closer. Can you see how easy it is? Oh yeah. Like this. Voila. One, we remove this part. The hardcore, I should say. Voila, you don't even need the, the knife. So, like this. Let's cut this part because, yeah, I don't like the, the, the skin of the tomato. I mean, it's not, it's not, the it's not great to find it in the. There are many, many cooks that say, oh, put the uh, the, the cherry tomato with, uh, with the skin. And uh, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm not, uh, not doing that. So now we cut the tomatoes really roughly. Uh, we don't need to be precise. As you want, really. Like that. Like that. Okay, and we take it like this, really, with our hands. And we put it. Voila. Voila. And now. That's a shot. By the time that the pasta is cooking, and we clean a bit, uh, so your mothers, your wives can be happier. We uh, raise the fire a bit, the, the flame, okay. Now, don't forget to stir the pasta. By the time that this is going, we take uh, the grater. Did we put the salsa in the pasta? No. Voila. I forgot. Oh, you violated one of your cardinal rules, Chris. Don't don't tell anybody. <laughs> Too bad we're making a video. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Too bad we're making a video. Oh my god. <laughs> this will be fun. Sorry. Uh, let's take uh, a grater. 
and let's cut the cheese. I, I would say a good amount of cheese. Good amount like this. Yeah, I think uh, we are. Voila! This is the amount of cheese that we need. Chili powder. Be pepper. The tomato is releasing the, the juice, so and this is nice. And let's not forget the how you call it, the sandwich. <laughs> um, timer. What timer? And what about the sand? Uh, hourglass. Hourglass. In Italian we call it clessidra. Oh. Has its own name. Yeah. Yeah, it has its own name, yes. So, um, basil, the basil, we will put the basil soon, not now. We don't want to cook the basil, this is the thing. So, we want to wash it first, <laughs> probably, <laughs> but not cook it. So, let's see, uh, five minutes are almost fast, so three more minutes. Because people, I, I say every time, people say, eh, but people say, I don't have time to make pasta, now we have to follow the green one. I don't, make, I don't have time to make pasta, that's why I buy uh, pre-cooked pasta. But by the time that you went to the supermarket, you bought, uh, you put it in the, you open it, put it in the microwave for, uh, I don't know, five minutes, like that. You, you got time to do this, really. So I mean, so far even the baby is uh, keeping it together. Even our baby is... Uh, Hello, Roger! We have a wonderful baby, really. That I love it so much. So, don't forget to stir the pasta. Hmm. And... Uh, let's see. Uh, I want... Can, can you see? I, I want this not to be liquid because I will add the uh, water later. Right, right. Which water? Now you should know. Uh -huh. This water. So once again I forgive me about the salt. Uh, I had a very busy day at work, so I'm not uh, a professional cook, so I was uh, I was paid. Uh, <laughs> no, that is the definition of professional. That's the definition of professional somebody that gets paid. <laughs> What came out from the kitchen? I don't know. <laughs> really. I remember that, I'll tell you a story. I was working in a restaurant and our boss was going every every evening, he was going, can I say, brothel? What can I say? Where, where prostitutes yeah, are, let's say. Yes, brothel. And uh, every prostitute, he, saw, he, saw, he, he told them, would you like to stop this job? This work, I can give you. Uh, I can give you a job as a waitress. And the problem is that they didn't speak Italian. So from the kitchen, we said, uh, "This to the table number three. This to the table number two, and this to the table number ten. And they went to the table eight to seven, fifteen. Uh, really <laughs> impressive. Where impressive. It was really. Where were they from? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, Eastern Europe. <laughs> it was so much fun. Ago. And uh, sometimes we have some very fancy name like uh, tagliatelle, al uh, tagliatelle al sapore della natura con cinghiale. And they serve like, for example, uh, pasta with uh, ragu. <laughs> it's, it's, more, it's more elaborated, you know. So, so, let me see, we are almost close. We Every time I say we want to cook the pasta a couple of minutes less because we will put the pasta here now. So, this. We are done in, I think, five seconds. 
That's fine. So it means a test. Let's put our pasta here. Please don't throw away this water because it's very, very important. Use it. Now, voila. Like this. Okay? Turn on the, the heat. B. So 30 seconds like this. One left. Okay. 30 seconds like this, and then we, 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 I don't know, we jump. So I don't know, we la saltiamo. What, what's the. And we stir. Um, yes. Okay, like this. And now, the best part, the cheese. Let's start with some cheese. I want some sort of cream here, so what I will do, I will add another bit of water, like this. And stir, stir, stir. And it's time for cheese, 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 cheese. Ah, oh, very cheesy, very cheesy. Is cheesy a word? Yes. It is a word. I just invented it. It's like the Tex-Mex of um, pasta recipe. Yes. No, Tex-Mex as well. And you know, slime you don't and have cheese. Covered in cheese, always, <laughs> always. Let's wait a bit that the cheese is uh, perfectly amalgamated. And now it's time for the basil. Don't cut the basil. Just do this. Just here. Pear. 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 Was this uh, fresh or is it from the freezer? Fresh, uh, fresh, fresh. We had it outside. We had it outside. Yeah. You planted it. I know, I know. Can you smell? Can you smell? Actually, yes, I can smell the basil. Just hit my, my nose. Okay. People many times say I use the, the cream to make pasta cream. No, you don't need it. You need the water of the pasta, <laughs> really. Voila! Oh. Uh, uh, basil here. Voila! Now... Gosh, I'm hungry. <laughs> we eat very soon, very, uh, very, 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 very soon. So... One, two... Voila! So let's recap. Uh, the pasta took eight minutes to cook, plus two minutes here, plus we um, we had the tomatoes there for a minute, so total eleven minutes, really. That sounds about right. Yeah. Don't you have eleven minutes to provide a good dish of pasta, even if you are abroad? Now we discover that there is no excuse to. There are no excuses. Well, this is here to pasta shame you. Yeah, is it a word? Pasta no, shame? no, no. We just, we just invented it, yes. We made up new words. And now, don't forget some pepper. Mm. Bon appetit! Bon appetit, bon appetit is French. Voila! It looks good. Thank you. Now, let's go and eat.